everyone, so today I am going to talk about how to set up a gaming virtual reality PC from the very beginning. During the beginning of my journey, I decided what is the least cost computer that can run virtual reality effectively because um, there are so many options out there. There are $1,500 options, there are $3,000 options, there are $5,000 options and I was kind of wondering well, how low can you get? Of course you can get you know sometimes even $100 PCs or $200 PCs but those do not run virtual reality. They will either completely fail like not even allow you to start it up or if you manage to kind of hack the system and, and squeeze uh, being able to run virtual reality, what will happen is you'll get super dizzy, things will be super choppy, you'll look around, there'll be a delay, and it's the worst experience ever. So typically those computers that, that do that are in the $200 range, even up to like four or $500 range. This computer right here I got for about $800 uh, $30 I believe it kind of fluctuate it goes between I think 830 850 up to uh, close to 900 so I'll put the link in the description below so this is the cyber power PC gamer extreme uh, virtual reality series uh, just to list off a few specs over here it's got Windows 10 it's got an Intel Core i5 so not i7 it's got 8 gigabytes of memory so usually higher-end computers will come with uh, 16 or even 32 or more gigabytes of memory it's got an NVIDIA GTX 1060 uh, graphics card. Uh, usually for high-end gaming PCs, they'll recommend an NVIDIA uh, 1070 or 2070 or 1080 or 2080 series. So this is a 1060, still pretty good. I think you can actually get by with running virtual reality on a GTX 1050. Probably not anything lower than that. Uh, one terabyte uh, hard drive. Uh, Wi-Fi comes with a mouse keyboard and everything does not come with a monitor. Okay, perfect. So I just unboxed the CyberPower uh, Gamer Extreme gaming PC. Uh, I'll be setting this up in just a moment, but let's go ahead and continue the unboxing uh, string. So in this box over here that came in the package, we've got a gaming mouse. Inside the Ziploc bag, we've got the power cord. We've got the Wi-Fi antennas, and we've got a remote control to actually control the color of the lights that are inside the gaming PCs. If you want blue or red or whatever color, you've got a remote control that you can do that with. Super cool. All right, next up, we've got the keyboard. Really nice uh, gaming keyboard, at least to get started. There you go, you can look over here. Very nice keyboard. Okay, so this is the Samsung Odyssey Plus uh, Windows Mixed Reality uh, headset. It's a virtual reality headset. Uh, actually, we did a review on this headset and compared it to other uh, VR devices in a previous video with Abram and Ty. Yeah, feel free to check out my video description uh, if you want to see about that video. Uh, Odyssey, the journey starts here. So very nice unboxing experience by Samsung. What we've got here are some protected uh, motion controllers, nicely packaged. The main star of the show, which is the actual headset itself. So you can see over here, uh, we've got the, the cables that are in uh, some bubble wrap. Uh, you can look over here at the lenses. I'm going to go ahead and peel these off. And as I mentioned in my previous review of this headset, uh, you can actually adjust the IPD. So depending on how wide or narrow your eyes are, you can adjust it so that it's uh, least blurry. Of course, there's a headset adjustment over here. So this is the virtual reality headset that we'll be plugging into our gaming PC. And that's about it for the box. There's just some little uh, information in here. Some batteries for the controllers. Over here we've got some uh, general information. We've got a user's manual, a microfiber cloth to keep the lenses clean. And that's about it. So this is the Samsung uh, Mixed Reality headset. I will make a note that this is the best Windows Mixed Reality headset on the market as of the recording of this video. Uh, that said, it is also the most expensive. Uh, you can get these for as low as $399 when I checked online. You can actually, if you wanna 
go for as low budget as possible. You can get other Windows Mixed Reality headsets. For example, this is the Lenovo Explorer. There's also the HP, the Acer, the Asus. And those are, you can get for as low as $100 to $150 with even the motion controllers uh, bundled with them. Uh, but I definitely, personally recommend uh, the, the Samsung Odyssey Plus for two reasons. One is that the, most, the controllers are paired directly to the headset, so there's no setup required. You just turn these on with the battery, put the batteries in them, turn them on and you're immediately connected no matter where you are. The second and more important reason is that the resolution on this headset is very high, so you don't get the screen door effect. So this is right after I power on the computer, just going through the regular setup process. Okay, so now the computer's all set up, a brand new, fresh computer. Uh, what I want to do before we do anything with virtual reality, we need to check for updates. So go ahead and open up your settings. I usually like to type in update over here and do check for updates. There's probably going to be quite a few updates. So this part might take a while and might take a few hours. Now if you look here, there's just a whole list of updates. Uh, so be patient, install all the updates. And once all the updates are done, then we can dive into uh, the virtual reality part. Okay, so as you can see here, I just finished all the updates and restarted a few times and uh, things are looking good. I'm checking for updates and it's saying we're up to date. So with that, I can go ahead and close it down. And now for the fun part, I am actually going to go ahead and plug in the VR headset. Now, don't I need to install any software or do anything like that before I just plug this in? The answer is no. If you've got Windows 10, you can actually literally just plug this in and it'll automatically set it up for you. So let's walk through that process really quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my USB 3.0 into the USB port and also HDMI into my uh, HDMI port of the graphics card. As soon as I plug in my virtual reality headset, this Windows Mixed Reality screen automatically pops up. If for some reason it doesn't, all you have to do is just search for Windows Mixed Reality just right down here, Windows Mixed Reality, but it should automatically pop up uh, in almost every circumstance. Uh, there'll be a button that says uh, Get Started, so let's go ahead and hit that button right over here. Agree to the terms, it'll check your graphics card. If your computer is good, uh, such as this one, you'll see green check marks all the way down, and you'll be able to click Next. Okay, you can see here, this is my Samsung Odyssey Plus. So it gives you a brief overview of what to expect. All right, so checking the firmware. This is the latest version, click next. All right, motion controllers. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my two uh, motion controllers by pressing and holding the Windows button right here for three seconds. Boom, okay. There you go, now, now you can see the uh, lights are starting to flash. It'll update really quick. All right, so it says now that the motion controllers are both connected. So I think we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just put those right up here so you can kind of see them. So click next. All right, get to know your controller. There's some instructions there. Okay, so this is specific to the Samsung Odyssey. If you have a different VR headset, your experience may change a little bit, uh, but this is roughly what to expect. Okay, now during this screen, this is where you can set up uh, your boundaries or you can set up for uh, uh, seated and standing. I do recommend a boundary, but for, for time's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and just dive right in with this one. And after you click this, uh, it'll ask you if you're sure. Go ahead and say you're sure. It's gonna ask you to center the headset. So go ahead and center the headset and then click the center button. Use speech, if you wanna use speech, which I highly recommend, go ahead and press the use speech button. All right, now this is the kind of um, oddly unexpected part is that after you go through all that setup, 
Then all of a sudden it starts to download some required files for Windows Mixed Reality. Uh, depending on your internet connection, this could take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video at this point. Uh, now this will be the welcome screen. Alright, as you can see here, go ahead and turn on the controllers. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Alright, so setup is uh, super fast. All you have to do is just uh, follow the instructions. Okay, so that was the full tutorial. Now it's asking me to look around, and there we go. This is the Windows Home, okay? Now I can go ahead and teleport around. Um, as you can see here in the headset, you can look left and right. And then from here, you can just go ahead and open up the, the Microsoft Store right in front of you and you can start downloading games right away so many different types of games that you can download for mixed reality and that is really all there is to it okay so there you have it that was the full beginner's guide to setting up a virtual reality gaming pc this was from the very beginning from the start uh, the unboxing of both the headset and the PC, plugging everything in, getting everything started, going through the setup process, all the way to the point where you can actually start uh, exploring your virtual worlds and even downloading some games. Uh, be sure to check out the video description for links to uh, where to buy the PC on Amazon, where to buy the headset on Amazon, as well as some other headsets that I recommend. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Do stay tuned for more videos and thank you very much for watching.